Hey guys, welcome back to another Axe Family video. We're here in the garden, and as you can see, we got a cardboard down, and we're gonna put down our ground cover. Um, it's landscape uh, plastic woven fabric material, and uh, we have a sweet way of how to cut it so that it won't fray um, over a long period of time. So stick around, and we'll show you in a sec. <laughs> Okay, so we have got almost all of the ground cover down for the garden and I'm super excited about it because it looks really nice and uh, the guy that referred me to it owns a lavender farm and he said that his ground cover um, lasted 12 years in direct sunlight before he had to replace it. And so the section down there isn't done yet so I'm going to show you how we're putting it down um, but as you can see um, it covers all the walkways, so we're not going to have to worry about any weeds popping up in the walkways. And then if dirt gets on it, we'll just be able to sweep it off. So this is the first layer that we put in all the boxes, and they um, are filled with um, leaves and some of our compost um, and dried branches and different things. And so it looks like we have some um, cucumbers or squash, I'm not quite sure popping up in here, um, which is fascinating. And this bed is our tomatoes and peppers, bell, or hot peppers, excuse me. Um, but there seem to be some little guys popping up in here too. Not sure where they came from. Just volunteers. They must be coming up from the compost layer at the bottom of this bed. Okay, so this is the last section that needs to be covered with ground cover and as you can see we're laying down cardboard first um, for two reasons number one is that um, it will stop any weeds or anything that we're growing there uh, from trying to grow more even though the ground cover is going to do that as well but the second reason is that it's a lot softer when you go to kneel on it like there's cardboard below this and when you kneel on that uh, there were lots of like little rocks and stuff before and if we just put this material right over the rocks then you could feel the rocks so the cardboard gives you a little pad to kneel on so we need to measure uh, this section and figure out what lengths we need and then we'll cut it we figured out a pretty sweet uh, method of how to cut the landscape fabric, the ground cover fabric, um, so that it won't fray and use a torch. And I'll show you guys how we do that. Okay, so I took this board um, to a table saw and I just cut a strip right down the middle and then I went over an eighth of an inch and cut another strip. So this is two uh, blade widths and this is what we use to lay down on the fabric. And then you just take a torch and run the torch down the cut and it uh, burns the material right in half and it also sears the edges so that it won't fray. Yeah. 
Good? Yeah. Good? Yeah. Well. So we put metal uh, staples down every uh, like 12 inches or so. Well, we're starting to get some rain here and uh, it looks like we're gonna have some more coming. So uh, I'm gonna take the camera inside. And that's basically it for today. Uh, it's a sweet technique of how to cut landscape fabric so that it doesn't fray over a long period of time. Thanks for watching and hats off to you.